And as we're learning of Hunter Biden's business partners relations with the White House, the big three major networks, their evening broadcast spent a total of zero minutes covering this revelation. Instead, they covered topics like rising sea levels in the Gulf of Mexico, rising cost of postage stamps, and of course, the AI revolution. Right. And Fox News contributor Joe Concha joins me now. Joe, does any of this shock you at all? Because it does not me. The Dean Wormer treatment, huh, guys? Uh, 0.0, .0 minutes of coverage. No, not at all. I, I mean, we, we've seen this movie many times when it comes to this particular bombshell, and it is a bombshell. I mean, 80 times. Uh, but Joe Biden told our Peter Ducey in those clips you just played that he never discussed his son's business dealings with him. And again, it's the easiest game to play. If Donald Trump Jr. was under federal investigation for tax issues and business dealings in China and Ukraine, and President Trump said he never discussed this with his son, and then visitor logs uh, show that it completely contradicts that claim 80 times over. Would ABC, NBC, CBS be all over this like white on rice? It's rhetorical Wednesday. You don't need to answer that, Todd. Yeah, I mean, they covered evergreen stories on those other networks. Evergreen stories are one that you can really air whenever you want. This is a major revelation right. in a major story, yet crickets. I'm sure it was just an innocent mistake. Uh, meantime, Joe, did you see this? Stephen Colbert cracking jokes about Joe Biden's 2024 future after the president's latest gaffe at the White House Easter egg roll. Here's the clip. Biden dropped some hints about 2024. I plan on <laughs> at least three or four more Easter egg rolls. At least three or four more. Maybe, maybe, maybe five. Maybe five. <laughs> maybe, maybe six. <laughs> what the hell? Point is, I am mentally fit to once again run for president of the United States. <laughs> What's going on? Where's Jill? Marco, Jello. <laughs> I mean, look, haha ha is pretty funny, but I think this is a really big deal because it's coming from Democrat publicist Stephen Colbert. Isn't this just further evidence that there are a ton of Dems who don't want Joe Biden to be the nominee? Oh, the polling shows that there's an overwhelming majority of Dems that do not want Joe Biden to have a second act. And, and never, Todd, in the history of media analysis has anyone ever uttered, you know, that interview with Al Roker at the Easter egg roll was a disaster. But here we are. And when you've lost Colbert, you know you have problems. Uh, but here's what's going to happen, obviously. Democrats will fall in line and support Joe Biden if and when he does run again, particularly if Donald Trump is the opponent, regardless of the obvious issues that this 80-something-year-old president has, regardless of his uh, record on inflation, crime, the border, education, foreign policy. Democrats will support him overwhelmingly if he does run, even if now they don't want him to, because the alternative to them is a nightmare. Yeah, I mean, and if anybody says, oh, he's just joking, it's like, well, um, behind every joke, there is some truth. And I think that's what we were getting there. Yeah. So a new study is claiming climate change is adding 50 home runs a year in MLB. I'm going to forfeit my turn here. Sure. I'm going to hand it over to Todd because She's you know. yielding the balance of her time to the <laughs> senator really? from New Jersey. Here's what I have on this, Joe. The study says the following. A long-term increase in game time temperatures at baseball stadiums and a resulting decrease in air density during games is responsible for the ball flying out of yeah. the park. So now climate warriors are coming after my Yankees, too, who rely. <laughs> on the home run ball? <laughs> I mean, let's put it this way. This is how stupid this, this study is, all right? Because look what happened just last season. There were 722 fewer home runs in 2022 than there were in 2021. That is the second biggest drop in dingers in Major League history. Did climate change decide to take the season off last year? This laughable study also doesn't mention the impact of several Major League ballparks moving in their fences. City Field, the Mets, where they play, for example, right? 108 home runs were hit in 2011. In 2012, when the fences were moved in, there were 155 home runs. It's nearly 50% more. So, no, you can't point to climate change and somehow conclude that 500 more home runs were hit because of it, because maybe the balls some seasons to create some excitement are juiced. That leads to more home runs. Maybe ballparks are smaller, as I just mentioned. Maybe there's more dome stadiums, retractable roofs than we've ever seen in the game's history. Better conditions, better results offensively. Yes, I played baseball in high school. I'm revealing it all right now. And by the way, maybe players take better care of themselves than ever before, mm -hmm. right? The fat ball player, they're, that, that guy's in my beer league. They're mostly extinct on the major league level. And remember, Ashley, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, and sometimes it rains. And well, I'll it they said the solution was building domes or stadiums so on the shifting, shifting right. game days to, to night games, reduce temperatures, effect on, the, on America's pastime. Um, I think this 
It was ridiculous. Yeah, maybe instead of focusing on this scientist, maybe focus on the AI problem. Yeah, instead no kidding. Instead of home runs in baseball no hurting my Yankees. Joe Very Concha, cool. I'll either be rolling the egg or I'll be pushing it out. Let's, thanks, Joe. That age-old expression <laughs> that we all know so well. Joe, thanks. No clue what he's talking about. Uh, See you Friday. <laughs> I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.